I'm just gonna awkwardly. Come on! It is lagging. Bear with me. It says I've been live for 40 seconds. But it's not showing up on YouTube. Oh. Whoa, there we are. All right. So there's about a 60 second delay. Ooh, I should turn that down. We don't need those. Can you hear me? Um, we see you. We're good. It's coming back. Thank you. Dave always let no, yes. Okay, I'm I'm good. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. I just I just got oh <laughs> Gabby's like I was on mute. <laughs> Wait, why is my sound still playing? Damn it. We don't want that. Turn that off, turn that off, don't disturb. Bear with me for a minute. Focus. Do not disturb. Boom. All right, guys, you got me. We're all here. Welcome. Welcome to the, the live stream. We haven't done one in so long. If you have a drink, cheers. Um, I'm sorry I've been so MIA. Uh, the comedy thing kind of picked up a lot quicker than I was expecting. Like one minute I'm doing my first open mic and then the next I get invited to do a show and then the next I get invited to produce two shows and it was just like a whirlwind of like highs and lows and chaos and everything and so finally I'm just like, whoa, I need a break. Background lighting, everything. You guys are loving it. You're loving the, you're loving the setup. This setup's actually perfect. Um... I'm getting more familiar with my stuff. Uh, my laptop remains permanently here with my ring light because I've been doing a lot of um, YouTube or I'm uh, sorry, podcast interviews and stuff. I'm like, oh, this is easy. Just click on and I can start. So actually, it is my goal to get these Thursday live streams back on the regular. Um, one, because it's a free way to engage with you guys because I do get people being like, ah, I don't want to subscribe, which is totally fine. Um, I still love to engage and this is um, like a fun way to do it. Then it gets posted later. So if you missed it, you can always watch it back later. Um, but yeah, I haven't done one in two months. I feel like there's so much to talk about. I should have actually looked at the last live. God, if I keep touching my eye, it's because somehow Tommy's hair is like just existing in my space today. Multiple times today I've had to do this. Um, I don't remember the last thing we talked about on YouTube. If you're a subscriber, you're like the most up to date. Um, and that's, sorry, that's on Instagram. I've had to like, be careful with my verbiage back and forth. Um, so yeah, I don't even know where to begin. I let me try check in with these com um, comments here. Bruce, you were still at the show though. I mean, I guess you would have saw Dave. Yeah. So I had I did three shows in Washington. One was my own show, which means like my own audience. I produced it, meaning I picked the comics and organized it, promoted it, whatever. Sold out Tacoma Comedy Club. It was so much fun. I was so I was so drunk by the end of it. Actually, I was probably pretty buzzed going into it. Um, the sucky thing is at the Tacoma Comedy Club, there's not a private bathroom in the green room, which is like where all the comics hang out, which means you have to then walk out the room, cross the whole like floor of fans to then use the bathroom where everyone else is, which is fine, except when you're like short on time, people are stopping you. I want to take a photo with you. And you're just like, I'm just trying to pee and I got to get back, you know? Um, so it was like right before the show was about to start. I was like, I am not running out to the bathroom. And so I um, peed in a garbage can. <laughs> you guys, I'm so classy. God, Tommy, I'm going to murder you right now. Um, oh, I didn't even know. Donald, what is this? What the heck? Thank you. I didn't realize that this was a thing. I haven't been on YouTube in so long. I've, you just made like a, I don't know, donation or a tip or however this works. I have no idea. But thank you. That's very sweet. Um, oh, Jordan's a subscriber. Look, I'm not trying to like have FOMO in this chat, but like the subscriber stuff is pretty fun. Um, in fact, I shared a juicy text today. Ugh. You guys are like my like friends, like the subscribers. Like I know you guys, I'm not, not trying to speak on your behalf, but I just know you guys feel like you get the real inside look. Should I read it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. Um, but the, the subscriber stuff's fun. We do subscriber lives and whatnot. Um, it's just... the. The Instagram subscribers is the easiest because my phone's always with me. No matter where I'm at, I can just post, text, be on there. We've had group chats, whatever. They're fun. 
Um, oh, praise the text. See, okay, so there are people in this this YouTube right now or this chat who have seen the text. I'm gonna, I'll read it. I'll give you guys a little. I'll give you a little, a little snippet. Um, can I just show it? Let's see. This is. It's always risky showing my phone because what if like a text pops up or something? This is your free sample to what kind of stuff you get on the subscriber. Um, <laughs> okay, let me just hold this and hope no one texts me. Can you see? Oh, so dirty. Look at that. If you can't see it, someone said, good girl. Ugh! <sighs> and I sent the emoji melting and the, like, spicy, like, face. And you know what I think it is? I've, I was like, why does that get me? Like, why Why am I so, like, literally right now, I'm like, I can feel myself just getting hot from just reading that again. Um, I recently joined the subscribers because I miss YouTube nights. I'm sorry, Ashley, I'm back. I'm back. So you can, al- you can always unsubscribe from Insta if you want to stick to these. I don't know how consistent these will be. But anyway, um, that text, you know what I think it is? I think in my life, I'm such a, like, dominant, loud person big personality people like see me and they're like oh she was the bachelorette and like I, I do get treated differently from time to time like there's definitely like this like um privilege or I don't know the way people treat you is just like a certain kind of way and so when you have someone who's just confident enough to just like I don't know I'm, just, I'm trying not to like blush on here um there we go. See, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Um, who's just confident enough to just be like, like, no. You don't intimidate me. I'm the boss. Da, da, da. You know? So anyway, that's that's that. But uh, we won't go into any more detail. Um, oh, no, okay. Look, don't worry. Like, this is why I do the YouTube. Someone said one day I hope to afford subscriptions. This is why I try to do the YouTube as well because it's a free option. It's a one-hour Ideally, it would be weekly. Um, we'll see if I can get back on track. The comedy thing that I just did for the last three months, like, it really just like consumed me. It consumed me in a way that was like taking away the fun from it. So I have one more show next week. It's in LA. It's a little intimidating because it is with like real comics. Not that I'm not a real comic. I'm just a new comic. Um, and there's just always this pressure to be like, because people, people are like, oh, she didn't earn that spot. And it's like, you know, I earned it in a different way. And then I, I want to be good enough to show them, like, and also look at, like, how fucking funny I am, you know? Um, Katie, what's the number one topic uh, you wish people would ask you about on podcasts not Bachelor-related? That's a great question, Dave. Mm, I don't really know. Like, that's – people ask me that, actually. They're like, what do you want to talk about? And I'm like, I really am just, like, an open book. Like, I, if there's something I want to say, I say it. I don't wait to be asked. I don't wait for a podcast to ask me. Um, I, I do enjoy the podcasts though that allow my personality to like really come out and that I'm like comfortable with. Like, um, I was just on your mom and dad podcast. If you guys haven't watched that, check that out. Um, that was fun. That it just felt like cozy and welcoming and just like, it didn't feel professional. It felt casual, you know, and that's what I want. I always just want, if I'm ever on a podcast, I want to feel like fun and relaxed, you know? So I don't know. I I don't know. I, I say everything I want to say. I don't know if there's something I want to talk about you know especially especially now that I did the Game of Roses podcast that would be like the last time I wanted to say anything Bachelor related you know in terms of like anything that's still like on my chest I got it all out so if you haven't watched that one that's also on YouTube that was a fun one as well um I would love to come to Arizona actually um I so I'm taking a little tiny break from shows because I'm just not mentally um, like trained enough to under like to like embrace the shows and the writing and like I get anxiety. I get such heavy anxiety and I just like shut down. I panic. I bail on open mics. In fact, I I technically bailed on the show that's coming up, and then one of my friends was like, "Unsend that message right now," and so I did. I was like, "Fine." So I have one more show to just pull through. Oh, do you want to come up here? You want to come up? Um, and then. I'll probably take a little break. I got to do my taxes. That's like a whole ordeal. I hate, I hate taxes. Okay, come on, Bubba's. Ugh. God, you're such a big boy. You're such a big boy. You probably won't see him because he's going to sit in my lap. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think come like May or June, I could see me um, 
plugging in a few more shows. Um, I think Arizona would be an easy one. Um, I think um, Austin would be another one um, in Texas. Um, I'd have to look at a map. Don't even get me started on maps, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I could see myself doing a few more shows coming up. But I just want to, like, I just don't want to, like, do so much that it takes away the joy of, of comedy and performing, you know? I get in my head a lot. Um, do you have anxiety about losing Tommy one day? Yeah. He's 15, though, and he's an indoor cat, very well taken care of. So I see him lasting to like 20. And he's been good. He's been in good spirits. He was shitting on the couch for a little bit. I don't know why. Ugh, he's so cute. Look at his little face. Look at that little face. Can you guys hear him purr? Should I put the mic to him? Cat ASMR. This is now a cat ASMR channel. <laughs> um, everyone bails on mics. Oh, I know. I'm actually really thankful. I have a friend here um, in San Diego, Austin. Actually, Dave's met Austin, um, who probably like holds me the most accountable when it comes to going to open mics, and I'm like so thankful for him um, because you really like the more. And he said this the other day. I was like, oh, you're so fucking right. The more you give into anxiety and like skip these open mics the bigger this like ball of anxiety is you know but when you just like just I don't know the right phrase I'm thinking of just go for it just show up um and continue to do that you all of a sudden just stop becoming phased by it like the anxiety is like you don't even notice it's happening because you're you're so used to it being like part of the process um oh you guys could hear um aren't you the cutest oh a Vegas show would be good actually that's a good call see I just I need to look at a calendar I need to like coordinate like a little a little tour route you know and, and contact some clubs and figure out the different formats like I have so many things I would want to do like I love doing the show with Dave that was really fun um I did a different version of the show in Washington which was like a a comedy competition um that was really cool and then um there's one where I want to do like a like a um like girls night or like a sleepover I don't know because I met um Kelly Collette who's a really great comic I just think it'd be really cool to, like, amplify um, women's voices in comedy. So doing, like, a female-only um, show. I don't really know. I'm figuring it out. I'm always figuring it out, you guys. Um, oh, Boston. I wonder if my – I don't know if you've heard my Boston joke. I don't know if I would still do that joke by them. But I have a Boston cream pie joke. Mm-mm. Um, oh, we do have Susan here. Bruce, Dave. The fam's all here, guys. You got to put the hours in, so you might as well. Dave, are you drunk? Because this is like the second typo I've seen from you. And I know we're on a different time zone. Um, sorry to call you out, but I'm having to like interpret your typos here. And so I'm just going to call you out because you're my friend. Um, am I up to date? Yes. Okay. But yeah, so we'll see. I'm just taking a little break after the show, writing some more. I'm, pro- I'm doing some new stuff. I'm, I'm learning some new ways of writing. Um, so we'll see. Where's she? You guys, I'm sorry. I just get so distracted when my cat's on here. Ten. A- it's 10 a.m. He's probably having like a morning mimosa, guys. Who knows? Um, what else has happened? What do you guys want to know? This is where I this is where I spill the tea. Um, for the most part, sometimes I gotta be a little, you know, careful. Or sometimes I just don't want to. Sometimes I'm like, like today I was on a podcast. It won't come out till Monday, but they were like. Who from your season do you think I would not get along with? And I was like, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to shade anyone from my season anymore. Like, no matter what I say, you know, it's, I just, it's not worth it. But I gave, like, a little, like, a because he kept pushing. So I gave a little answer. I was like, I don't know, maybe, like, Greg and Andrew and Justin because they're, like, big TikTokers and you're not. So I feel like that was, like, a polite answer, you know? Uh, this isn't the real Dave. <laughs> God. You guys, Dave just headlined in Bali. Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool and smart. Dave, I would love to talk to you more later about that. Like, did you do like a partnership with them? It's like a free stay. Because that's a cool way to like travel if you think about it. If you're like, hey, just let me stay at your hotel for a week. I'll perform for the weekend or the night. I don't really know. I don't know. Anyway, super sober. Sober, sober. How does that expression go? Whatever. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Mm-mm. 
Um, I'm trying to keep up with these um, these threads over here. So what happens now that the contract ended? What can you say? Here's the thing, you guys. The contract, it's le it's less about what you can say because that's actually your NDA is for life. And I think unless the show was to like end, your NDA is for life. So I, I, I always feel bad when you're like, oh my God, she's going to spill a tea. Or like they get mad at other contestants for not saying more. And I'm like, you guys, we can't. It's, just, it's not worth it, you know? Um, although I'm not going to say who, but there, I think, rumor on the street is there's a an upcoming guest on an upcoming podcast. I'm like so vague. I'm like, this guest on this podcast. Um, and I'm curious if she's going to spill. Because some people are a little more, um, I don't give a shit attitude or I don't know. Look, financially, I do care. <laughs> I ain't trying to get fined. Nothing. Okay, Tommy, you're, you're going to you're gonna sit on the ground. Is that okay? Say bye-bye. <sighs> um, what are your thoughts on the pay for an Instagram follow? Oh, I only briefly heard about that. I don't, I mean, to each their own, you know, like however you want to make money, go for it. Uh, if you don't like it, then don't pay for it. It is an, like, I don't know the, like, how does it work? Like, if I paid someone to follow me, then what, they follow me for like a year? And also, I don't, I don't, I don't think I would personally, well, I know I wouldn't personally do that. I just think it feels, it feels fake. I, if anything, I, I prefer, God, I'm like so stuttery. I can't get my thoughts together, guys, my brain my ADHD that I'll never get diagnosed properly with by a doctor. Um, I like my subscriber option on Instagram. I would rather have a subscriber pay $5 a month than pay $100 for me to follow them because it feels more genuine at least because by having my like subscriber family, thank you, Donald. Um, oh, that's very sweet. Um, by having my subscriber family, it's, it's truly like there's so much interaction that's happening. You know, it's not like I'm just following them and then they, I forget about them. The, my, if you're on here as an Instagram subscriber, I've been with you in the DMs privately. We've had group chats before. We've done subscriber lives. There's different stories. Like there's so much that is like, like, yes, you're paying five bucks, but like there's, I make sure there's value. I just don't find value in having someone follow you for a hundred bucks. Because like then what? I don't know. I don't know if that answers. I kind of answered your question. Um, oh, Dave's over here. What, Dave? What is happening? I'm missing. I'm seeing some things being dropped over here. Um, I do love my subscriber family. It's actually so. I've always been really slow to like when I get new ones that come in. I'm like, all right, do I trust them? Because basically, the number one rule is if you share anything that is shared in this sub family, like on Reddit or a fan page or like a spoiler account, whatever, um, you're blocked. Like you're blocked for life. Um, and so far, everyone who's subscribed has been very um, loyal and honest and kind and keeping those things private, which then makes it fun because then I continue to like share the tea and, and my opinions and yeah, it's, it's been a good time so far. Um, you talk and connect with us personally on the subscription. Yeah, see, I just, like, if someone's going to pay money, I want them to get their money's worth. There was one time, and I, I need to do this again, actually, where, um, I put a gift card for Starbucks on my story for my subscribers. And that was another cool thing. That's when I was like, dang, my subscribers are good. Because I was so scared someone was going to use it all up. Um, but I was like, please like, limit yourself to like one drink. And truly, it, it lasted like all day. Like No one took advantage of that. Everyone just bought themselves one drink. And it was just cool. I just love it. it no, don't... Gert, don't apologize for not being able to subscribe. I do these these YouTube lives, which are just as fun, just as engaging. They're just, I try to do these weekly, uh, but this is the first one I've done um, in two months. So working on that. There's so many things I'm working on. I am, my subscribers know this, I am working on um, a TV show, writing a scripted television show, which I think is going to be really cool. I don't want to put too much detail on here because this YouTube will be posted um, live for the public to watch later if they wanted to. Um, but if you wanted to know more, subscribe. Or just wait. Wait till Netflix or whoever. My goal would be Netflix, but wait till whoever picks up the show and then, then I can talk about it. But for now, but pretty excited about that. 
Katie, I tried to DM you, but you never got a response. Please answer me if you can. Um, I do try my best to respond to everyone. Um, so I'll be on the lookout. But also, like, keep in mind, like, I, I don't, like, certain things when they get messaged, sometimes you do see them, but then you're like, I can't take on that DM. Like, sometimes there's things that are shared that I'm like, I'm not, like, experienced enough to give feedback on that. Um, this is too much for me mentally to um, navigate with you. Um, there's just certain times where, like, we do see it and we're choosing to, like, protect our own, like, mental space to be like, I cannot uh, take on that DM at this time. Does that make sense, you know? Um, North Bend. Susan was in North Bend. Uh, not one person from the San Diego show spilled the tea. Honestly, this, yeah, the San Diego show, we, we got, we got crazy. Dave, I still haven't, um, fully watched all the content yet. I still haven't watched the content from Washington. I've been very just, like, in this reset mind, plus, like, the tax season is just, like, looming over my head. Um, so I want to watch that back, but, um, yeah, everyone's just, everyone's just good people. Everyone's just good people. I love it. I love my people that are here. And slowly, you know, I've been able to just get rid of people who don't like me, which is fine. Um, if you want to talk shit, I'll just block you. I used to not want to block because, like, then they know that they made me mad and that they hurt my feelings. And now I'm just like, so what? Block them. Um, would you ever live chat with your subs? I mean, I do live. I do a live alive which is chatting what I don't get that question do you have a favorite topic you cover in your comedy show so my my biggest topic that I'm trying to like be better about but it is it's okay also because you're you're new and this is very common but it's all like it's mostly sex related um God, I don't know can you guys hear this thing I don't know why my thing is making noise maybe you can't hear it but um so like it's like dirty humor you know which goes very well with um certain audiences um, but then sometimes, like, there, I think at the show, God, where was it? It wasn't North Bend. Brem, it was Bremerton. It was Bremerton. And first of all, it was chaotic. We were running late. We, like, essentially ran into this this tiny little, like, pub. And I think I was, like, technically at the first, maybe the second one on. I was so nervous. I couldn't even chug a beer fast enough <laughs> to, like, be ready. Um, and I just started talking about, like, all these, like, sex jokes. And then I was like, and I'm wearing like this Letterman's jacket. And I have like a little ponytail. So I'm like, do I just like look too young to be talking about this? I don't know what's going on. Because I'm like, I look at a guy and I'm like, you look uncomfortable. And then he just like didn't say anything. And I was like, I swear I'm legal age. And then I just made it awkward. And I, anyway, I bombed. I bombed that show. The guy was like, oh, I have it on tape. If you want me to like send it to you. I was like, just delete it. I don't, I don't even want it. <laughs> um... Oh, Dave, can you imagine if that, if the tea made it into, like, Us Weekly? I'd be pissed. Be pissed. Yeah, you guys can hear it. I don't know. How do, why is my, whatever. I think I had my stuff muted. I don't know why it's still coming through. Anywho. Um, what else? What else do I need to update you guys on? Oh. I did ask on Insta. I said, what do you guys want to know? Let's check out the questions that came in. What the heck? Here we go. Um, bu -bu -bu. Someone want to know how to meet women if you're antisocial. The hard part with that is if you're antisocial, you should meet a woman who is in whatever environment that you are comfortable in. Because, like, let's say she's social and you're antisocial, it's not going to work anyway. Um, so, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that because I'd have to know more about that person. Everyone's talking about the, uh, oh, who drank you to basketball? Susan. Um, Susan's referencing my story. I think I made that. That was a public story. Um, I did go to a basketball game. Was it yesterday? God, am I, like, blushing? Let's not do that right now. Um, mm, some guy, some guy, look, I'm, I'm this, I'm always slow to like say things about people because things come and go, things shift, you know, and I'm just, just living my life day by day. But I did go to someone's basketball game that feels like 
pretty interesting. That's a public gathering. But I will say he did not introduce me to anybody. So that kind of, I don't, I felt some kind of way. But to be fair, sometimes I don't know people's names. Like he was just filling in. So sometimes I'm like, I'll tell the person. I'll be like, look, if I don't introduce you, it's because I don't remember their name. Or I'll just be like, by the way, this is John. We're using John as an example. Um, and then hopefully that person's like, hi, John, I'm in chat, whatever. Um, so that kind of annoyed me a little bit, but whatever. Um, keep the mystery until you're ready. Look, um, what do you think about Selena's new brows? What are we talking about? I don't, is this a reality TV question? Who's Selena? What are we, what are we doing? Then? Um, I should post my lip color on my stories because I'm getting a lot of compliments on it, but it's called Vocal by Elf, which is, I love that it's Elf because it's such a, like, affordable brand, but I've been a huge fan of the stuff they keep sending me, so, um, anyway. I'm all over the place. Um, ooh, Dave, when are you coming back? Is your trip ending now? Oh, Selena Gomez. Oh, are we talking about like her laminated brows? You guys, I'm I'm so not into pop culture. I should be. Can you imagine if that was my job? Like a like a reporter. See, now there's people just talking about the Vanderpump rules and hearing all about that. Makes me want to watch the show, honestly. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, cruelty free is another another perk. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I was trying to look at some of these questions here. Um, doing good on things. Oh, Trish, Trish from home. Am I, is that the right Trish? If it's not, you have the same name as someone I know. Um, how you watched Chris Rock's new stand up? <gasps> Actually, no. Thank you for reminding me. I'm. I'm always, um, I feel like I'm always doing stuff. I never really take the time to watch uh, TV, which is why I was so mad the other day when I couldn't get into Netflix. But now I'm back in Netflix. So I need to watch it for sure. I really, like, I really don't watch, oh, it is Trish. Hi! Um, I really don't watch a lot of TV, which is funny because I never, pro- I never um, promoted this podcast I was on. But a few weeks ago, I was on a podcast called I think it's called Doug Loves Movies. Doug Benson is the guy. And um, he has two. One's like, I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube, but like focused. And then the other was movie focused. And for some reason, I thought it was going to be the other one, the focused one. I just didn't, I don't know. So like minutes before the podcast, I'm like just looking it up again. And I'm like, wait, we're doing a a movie podcast? I know nothing about movies. And so luckily, uh, we were not on video and so with some of the questions, I was able to just, like, look up on my phone and be like, ah, what's a good answer? I don't know. So that was awkward. Serious question. Would you ever date or consider dating Justin from your season? Serious answer. No, I would not. I don't, like, the, that chapter is closed with all those men. Like, that just feels, I would be shocked if somehow I did anybody from my season. And that's not even as a diss to them. It was just, I, I, it's such a closed door. Like, no thank you. Um, if you send a text to someone and they don't answer you, do you feel some sort of way? If so, give me some advice. Well, you just have to understand, like, if they're busy, um, my favorite and least favorite phrase is, like, if they wanted to, they would. And that fits to all sorts of situations. If they wanted to take you on a date, they would. If they wanted to text you, they would. If they wanted to call you, they would. Um, so you have to realize either A, they're busy, or B, they just don't want to. And if they don't want to, then you just have to, like, respect yourself enough to be like, I'm not going to chase someone who doesn't want me. Like, as simple as that, you know? Um, I feel like there was a guy I dated, or tried to date, I should say, that was, like, a horrible, like, communicator. And I was like, and you, you end up checking out. You're like, well, this is no fun for me. This hurts my feelings more than it feels good. So I'm done. Back on the 15th. Dang, what a nice honeymoon. Um... No, Justin's great. Justin Glaze is awesome. Um, I was actually hanging out with him on Halloween with a bunch of other people. Super nice guy. Like, I would hang out with these people in, like, settings, you know, like, parties and whatnot. But, like, romantically, no. I'm actually thinking that dating somebody, like, off, like, a reality show is just, like, not for me anymore, you know? Yeah. I did that. I tried that. 
some of you guys might know who my last like fling was and it didn't work out so we all just find a nice guy here in san diego um advice for meeting men in the wild Ugh. i will say hmm like i've tried the dating apps I have gone on dates from dating apps, but they didn't turn into anything. I just think in person is just better. I think you just got to hang out in the, the spaces you enjoy. So for me, it's like, well, this is like a double-edged sword because I'm like, oh, comedy. They say don't date a comic. I don't know. <laughs> um, volleyball. But then again, I'm like, oh, but I would hate to date like a, another player because I'm like seeing all the time. But at the same time, like, you know, you have something in common, you know? Um, I go to events alone, like concerts. I think that's a really great way to meet people. Um, but just finding somebody who fits in your circle of passion. I don't know if that's a phrase. God. But you know what I'm saying? Like, at least at least you know you have one thing in common, you know? So I don't really know if it's any good advice, given that I am still single. So you might be asking the wrong person. Um, oh, we're talking about Nick in here now. Okay, my skin, I was just thinking that. I don't know what it is. I mean, I do have, like, some breakouts, but I feel like it's the the um, the um makeup I'm wearing, which is also e.l.f. God, I just need to do a video for e.l.f. It's two different products. One is, like, a green thing because I have, like, redness sometimes, and then this other is, like, this, like, glowy little sparkly type stuff. But also, it's, like, a ring light. Like, I'm sure on my phone it would look different. I'm sure different angles. A close-up. Look at that. There we go. Okay, look at there we go. We got texture, guys. It's just, I think it's just also the camera. That's actually a little sad. I was hoping it looked this good. <laughs> um, what location and date is your comedy show in LA? It's the 18th at the Improv, the Hollywood Improv, Improv Hollywood, Impro Hollywood Improv, whatever. It's at 9.45 at night, but um, there's a bunch of different comics on this show. I'm kind of interested how it's going to work because in the description it was like, it said music, art, and then comedy as well. And the room, it's in the lab, is a small room. So I'm kind of, I'm a little nervous about that. Which is probably why I've been promoting it so much. Because I'm like, I want my people there at least. Like, if the show is going to be a weird format, at least the least I can have is like my audience, my type of people. So if you can make it, it's on a Saturday in LA. I was not going to do anything for St. Patrick's Day though. Because the show's the next day. And I just... Anytime before a show, I'm always like focused, practicing, rehearsing with like friends. I, I've done, okay, so here's another benefit of my subscribers on Instagram. Um, a few times I've done my like practice set for them, which is so awkward because with comedy, you're feeding off the energy, you're feeding off the laughter. And so to do it like this where I can't hear you guys um, or even see you, um, is a little awkward, but it does really help. I did um, a live practice with them before my show, a different LA show I had. Uh, and it was so awkward, but it helped so much. So I'll probably do one of those again um, here coming up next week. Any new renter home improvements? Um, no, I've been just decorating. I finally have like a table now and um, some carpet. Like it's, just, it's starting to actually feel like home. Like I do not want to leave this place. My, I have so much time. It's not up till September. I will be devastated if they're like, mm, we're actually selling the place or mm, we're not renewing your lease, which I don't know why they would. I'm one person and I take very good care of this place and my bills are paid on time. Um, live practice must have felt like dancing to no music. That is a perfect description. Yeah. I mean, everyone was really nice in, in terms of the comments and trying to be like, ha, 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 ha. But it's just it's not the same. It's not the same. Um, oh, speaking of podcast, good time here in the comments, guys, is whose podcast I was on today. Um, <laughs> don't ask me that question. So he said, what gets you up in the morning? I think I posted this on my story, which was like, at first I was like, oh my God, this is so deep. But then I was like, everything gets me up in the morning. I have so many things on my mind. My little brain never sleeps. These, um... These lies are actually good practice if I continue doing them weekly as opposed to once every two months um, to just like breathe, talk slower, 
organize your thoughts. So um, yeah, everyone go subscribe to um, Good Time here in the, in the comments. Um, if you've seen the Green Flags video here on YouTube, it was Wyatt who was a guest and we did a little bit of banter back and forth. So he got to interview me today. And he actually had some great questions. I was very impressed, Wyatt, uh, with your line of questioning. Um, they were just like very like thoughtful and, and good questions. I was like, people probably want to know that answer. Um, there's another podcast I just did that I haven't finished watching yet. It's two hours long. Um, and it's, it's a local friend here in, in San Diego. Um, but some of the questions, like, for, they, it was a slow start. Like, what, what did you, what do you do for work? Well, did you date in high school? Like, very, like, entry level, you know? Which is fine. A good warm-up. God, Tommy's hair, I can just see it just floating in my house today. Um, but Wyatt's questions were, like, very to the point. Kept the interview under an hour. It was great. Um... I think you're showing the lab is in the lab. I think crowd work is the best way to open a set in that room. Yeah, my show is in the lab, and it looks tiny from what I saw online. I'm actually surprised it's not sold out just given how, like, little the room looked, but what else? Um, yeah, Jen's, like, lots of familiar names in the chat. That's what's so cool about, like, my my, like, I like to call them family more than fans, but it's just, like, certain – people start to get to really know each other, but they've like never met in person. They just meet because of YouTube Live or Subscriber Live or whatever, you know, and um, it's just cool to, like, see people, like, connect. Um, for my subscribers, we were – they were helping me with some um, storyboarding ideas for the show that I'm writing. I was like, if the show gets picked – I no, when. When the show gets picked up, I would assume there's some kind of big party, some kind of, like, launch or – I don't know. There's got to be some kind of celebration, right? Anyway, I was like, if that happens, you guys are all invited. I go, it's probably going to be like in L.A., but you're all invited. And if there's not a party, I'm going to throw my own then. I don't care. Then it'll be in here in San Diego. But um, it's just cool to, like, see people, like, get to know each other virtually um, and then eventually get to meet. And so it's, I, at my shows, I got to meet a few people um, whose names I've seen pop up for a very long time. And it was just nice to, like, give them, like, a real-life hug, you know? Um, go Tigers! I don't go out into the real world for just anyone. Bruce, you're the MVP. Bruce was at my show in Tacoma, which was cool. So was Susan. Susan went to two shows in Washington. She's like the real MVP. Susan actually was the one who basically tried to set me up with Nick from The Circle. I don't know whether to thank her or not because it didn't work out. <laughs> but, no, it, it was – Nick's great. Nick is great. I appreciate Susan being, like, the cheerleader. Nick and I would uh, often banter about, um, like, Susan and make jokes like, oh, she'll be invited to the wedding, you know. Um, but womp womp didn't work out. <laughs> but um, that's just what's so cool about you guys is, like, you guys are really, like, intertwined in my actual real life. Um, would I ever go to Canada? Canada would be a good one. I would definitely consider Canada, especially like Vancouver. It's like right across the border from my home state. Honestly, guys, I would go anywhere. I'm just not ready. I will get ready. and It'll be fun. But um, for now, I'm just taking a beat, reworking on some stuff. And uh, I would expect some new shows announced around May or whatnot. Um... <laughs> oh, I love that you're like, I followed him, and then I stopped following him. Yeah, that's that's the way it goes. <laughs> um, that's the hard part with, like, trying to, like, date anybody is I think, like, whoever the next person is that I date, I think I will, like, very much, like, protect them, and um, especially if they're not used to, like, Bachelor Nation. Because the nice thing with Nick is at least he's, like, he is – exposed to that so it's like there wasn't like a learning curve and he, he's like used to it I don't know what it would be like to date someone who's not you know because the literally the, like the people that I've like well and Nick uh, would even say is loosely the word dating you know but um I was at least semi-public about him but um you know with John and Blake they're both from reality tv you got Nick from reality tv the situation shift that I never ended up posting about because it wasn't anything I mean, that, that, don't let me downplay that, but, like, it, we, it was never going to be something, so there was no point to announce it or tease it. Um, but, yeah, 
then I'm like, all right, let's start just, let's just date in the normal world of non-reality TV, non-social media, whatever. But then it's like, oh, how do you, how do you navigate that, you know? But I've said this many times recently, um, Andy Dorfman, she dated somebody and kept him very hidden for a very long time. And then it was like weeks before her engagement that, that she finally came out with like who he was. And I was like, I like that. And then like you have Claire, she dated privately for a long time too. And then even got married secretly, you know, so I like that route. I'll probably just protect whoever I'm with next and not really expose them to the chaos that is Bachelor Nation. Um. Oh, we're getting compliments, and here we got an award-winning baker. Um, I may have to bail soon. Night, Gabby. This will be posted later. I mean, there's there's only like twenty minutes left anyway. I try to keep these at about an hour. Um, hard launch on your wedding day. That's literally what I joke about. Like people, even the podcast I was on today, I was like, you'll find out. Because he's like, can I announce whoever you're dating? Can I be the one to break that news? And I was like, yeah, I'll just invite you to the wedding. And that's when you'll find out. Because it is so exhausting to like introduce someone to like your public audience. And then like John, for example, six months later, it ends up not working out. I'm like, well, that was annoying. If I knew we didn't, weren't going to work out beyond six months, I would have never announced him in the first place, you know? So um, my new trial period, I like to call it, is three months. I feel like three months is a very healthy amount of time to like see where something's going. Like, is it going to go somewhere or is it not? And if at three months you're still like kind of like unsure, you should probably just cut the ties. Or three months you're like, dang, this is fun. Does this mean you're my boyfriend or girlfriend, as people are discussing lately? Um, I've never formally had a girlfriend. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just... That feels intimidating, which actually I'm going on a podcast this weekend and I think we're going to be talking about um, like dating women and what that's like and like questions I have. So that's actually really fun uh, coming up. But uh, yeah, dating a woman would would be kind of scary because it's like it's like put yourself in that mindset of when you were like new to dating in general. You're like, I'm so awkward. I'm so inexperienced. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Um so that's like kind of where my mentality comes a little bit with like any hesitation I might have. But um, st- to be determined, I guess. Uh, are any topics off limits for your comedy shows? Not really. I don't think so. I mean, who knows? <laughs> As of now, no. If you heard the things I talked about at my comedy shows, you'd be like, yeah, there's nothing off limits. It's actually really awkward to tell these jokes sometimes when you have, like, family in the audience. You're like, oh, my God. We're doing, I don't know, again, I don't know what I can say on YouTube, but I'm like, oh, we're doing a, like, a cum joke. I'm, like, whispering as if YouTube can't hear me whisper into this mic. I'm so dumb. Um, find someone that you are into no matter who it is. Well, yeah, of course. Um, I'm trying to catch up with some of these things. 90 days or your money back. Chaz, I thought you weren't going to make it tonight, by the way. Glad you could join the live stream. We only have like 15 minutes left. Oh, Donald, thank you. Um, oh, you dm me a long message. Um, either A, send me your username again in this chat, or B, resend a message on Instagram and I will um, try to find it. The The DMs on Instagram have been like kind of crazy because there's so many inboxes. There's like primary, general, requests, hidden, more hidden. Like I, it, sometimes things get lost. And like it'll be in the like, top, top hidden request. And you're like, what? Can we just, can we just not do that? It's a lot. Any good scripted shows? No, Jacob, I'm not really watching TV. But I am writing a scripted show. So that's been fun. Can't really talk much about it, but. Um, oh my God, my little niece. Oh, she's growing up so fast, but she's doing good. She's doing really good. I hope to see her. I don't know when. I don't really have plans on going back home anytime soon. When I went home in Washington, in, in Washington, obviously, in January, I was home for like eight days because I knew I was like, you guys, this might be like the last time I come here for a while. 
In fact, I'm hoping to take a vacation soon. San Diego's been a little cold. I could use a little bit of sun. My girlfriend is in Mexico, so I'm like, let me come visit. Let me come visit. So might have to do that soon. Um, I'm trying to think what else to like update you guys on. It's really just been like comedy. The shows went really well. They sold out. They were fun. The pickup shows I've done in between were fun. But I'm at that point where I'm like, suddenly it stops feeling fun. So let's just like slow down for a second. Let's just take a, a breather and reset. Um, ooh, can you tease what your scripted show is about? I don't mean to put it this way, but basically like my subscribers know. So if you want to know, that's the safe space that I feel like sharing that stuff. Otherwise, I cannot tease it. I don't want to tease it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's even a protected concept yet, which I need to ask them about. Because I'm working with two other writers. Um, like, how do we protect this? Make sure no one else steals it. But uh, it's a good one, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm biased. Um, dating a woman would be scary. Breaking news. Trust me, Kate's terrifying. I mean, honestly. One piece of advice Dave gave me. I don't know if you remember this, Dave. How did you word it? What was this? Maybe I won't go there. <laughs> Maybe Dave can offer it up. But he gave me advice. Actually, I think he was giving John advice on how to like make sure a, a, to make sure your woman is happy. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to say it here unless he says it and then I can ping off of it. But for now, I'll just be like, yeah, dating women is a lot. It would be, it'd be like a, a whole new territory, you know? But I did have, um, actually, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Loose lips, sing ships, baby. Oh, Donald, thank you. You don't have to send money to send that. Um, shoot, I want to write this down. Ah! Oh my goodness, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me write this. Um, wolf. Sorry, oh, I just got to write this username. I already did the typo. There we go. Okay. I think there's a link to purchase tickets to your LA show. And, oh, is there a link? Um, I think it's in my, I think it's in my bio. Let me check. Um, there's no VIP. It's a small intimate room. So no matter what, you will, um, see me. I'm sure even after the show. Let me check. Link in bio. Yeah, it's right there. It's the first little square. If you go to my link in bio. I think tickets are like 18 bucks or something. And there's like legitimate comics there. So if you're if you're wanting to see, like, a good show. Not that my show's not fun. My show's super fun. Um, but, again, I'm, I'm always about, like, value and money, da da, da. Um, And so this is, just like, a really intimate show with some really talented comics on it. Um, I don't know. I think you might have heard of Plane Flying By, not Tommy. Um, I'm trying to catch up here. Hi, Riley. Do you have a favorite movie series or favorite superhero movie? Ugh. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like the worst movie person ever. Like if I was to ever like be a um, like a host for something, like I would need to um, – oh, Ben. Ben, Ben from, from school, Ben. Um, I think – I always see first and last names and like, okay, either it's someone I know or it's just a coincidence. But um, have a good night. Bye. <laughs> um, but no, I'm like the worst movie person. I'm the worst pop culture person, which in some ways is a, is a benefit because when I do meet like actually famous people in real life, I'm like unfazed because either A, I'm like, I don't know who that is or B, I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. Um, so that, that has been helpful at times. Um... God, everyone's signing off. You guys, there's only 11 minutes left. It's fine. It's fine. I know. Okay, Sydney said, for someone who doesn't watch TV, it's funny you're writing a show. Yeah, so I had to do a lot of research on popular sitcoms and their synopsis and kind of like how many seasons they had and what their storylines were and like what worked and what didn't. Um, 
And then one of the producers will reference a lot of different shows. He'll be like, did you ever see this? Or like, oh, it'll kind of be like this version. And I'm like, I didn't know any of these shows. Which is, I think, in some ways good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've seen movies, and some of the concepts we are creating are, like, very, like, there's, like, elements of, like, the 80s in there in terms of, like, the concept and story um, and 90s. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say too much. But I'm excited. Um, I don't remember this advice at all. Oh, yeah, I was smashed on New Year's Eve. Got to go down on your lady. No shame. That's the advice Dave gave. Great advice. Great advice. But that, that also is, like, the one thing that makes me scared to date a woman. I was like, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to navigate that. It's like being a virgin again. I'm like, this is scary. Like, do you remember when you were, like, a kid? Not a kid. That's, oh, let's, I take away that sentence. We're starting over. Do you remember when you were a younger person dating and exploring your sexuality? Because um, I remember being like, oh, my God, I would never put a dick in my mouth. It's so icky, you know? And then, like, eventually you're just, like, doing it. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, sometimes I get so scared to do stuff on YouTube. I'm like, don't ban me, please. Um, but that's how I felt about women. I'm like, I wouldn't even know how to navigate that ship. And that intimidates me. Um, I'm trying to read some of these comments here. Young adult. I know. Can I say young adult? Um, because technically you're still like under, I mean, at least I was, I was under 18 when I gave my first thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Hi, Jill's husband. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, hello, Chase. Fancy seeing you in here. Wait, why? You have all these, you have a, like a check mark in here and a little, what does that mean? Um, okay, I don't even know what that, I'm still learning what these things mean. Yes, definitely. You guys, Chase has the freaking cutest cat and that says a lot because Tommy's pretty cute but like his is I forget what, it's like a Persian I forget what breed it is it's like a fancy breed it's like a I'm a high I'm a high-end kitty cat but it is so cute so cute where's Tommy Tommy you didn't hear oh he's right, he's right here sleeping um wait Chase did I even know your cat has its own Instagram because I didn't I, I feel like I've not seen this before Unless Tommy follows him and I don't. Oh. British Gold Bear. Oh, you guys. I don't know if it'll focus. Look at that. Look at that little kitty. I love cats. I'm a fucking crazy cat person. I could be single forever and just open up a little cat cafe and, and die happy woman. I feel like that's the truth. I really do. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I would love to date people as well, but... Um, just surround me with like 10 kitty cats and I'm like I haven't actually visited one here in San Diego and I know we have them <gasps> maybe I'll do it tomorrow maybe I should do that um, oh British short hair I was off completely on that what did I say Persian it's definitely not a Persian but a very cute kitty um, fun fact Chase had all this great stuff for his cat and the cat rejected it. Typical cat. Someone, someone sent me like a cat patio and was like, oh, I'm such a bad cat mom. I was like, I would create that cat patio for Tommy and he'd still sleep under the bathroom sink, which is what he does right now. Um, would love to see what you see at the cat cafe. Honestly, I've always thought about opening one myself too. I, there was a period of time when I was um, dating John, so this was like a while ago, where I would see vacant um, buildings and be like, could I make that a cat cafe? And then the other day in um, La Jolla, which is here in San Diego, we were driving by a, a building and I was like, that would make a great cat cafe. And then as we drove further past it, it was a cat cafe. I was like, good job, people. Good job. Um, anyway, I only got five minutes left, guys. This has been fun. And this is, e like, when I'm home 
Thursday live streams should be like an easy thing for me to do. I think there was a period of time where I was just like, it was chaotic. You know, I try to go to open mics a lot, but I, sometimes I don't. But maybe Thursday is like a no open mic night. Maybe there's, I mean, technically I could still go to open mic, actually. If any of my comedian friends are watching this, they'd be like, Katie, it's not even till 10 o'clock. <laughs> maybe I'll go tonight. I doubt it. I doubt it. I got to cook my girlfriend breakfast tomorrow. Um, she's coming over with her little baby. Um, what else is happening? I feel like there's something happening this weekend. I don't remember. Katie's Cat Cafe. Okay, Susan, here's the thing. Susan, look at your spelling of that. Like, I could never do that. I couldn't, I, I love the effort. I could never do that. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> um, I would maybe call it like, um, Pause, pause, pours and pause. Ooh, I like that though. Pours and pause. Perfect pours. We're on to something, guys. We are on to something. Um, But look, I cannot take on more projects until I get my weekly YouTube happening. My podcast, which has never started. Where's that? You know what I want to do? I need to talk to Jess about it. I would love to just like utilize her space, pay her person, and do my own little, like just rent uh, the podcast space she's in from her. It's like once a week. I think that'd be cool. You can do that in other places, but I feel like it's like way more expensive. Like when I was on Game of Roses, they rented out a podcast studio and I looked it up and I want, I don't know how much they totally paid because there's different tiers. But it's anywhere from like 200 to like 500 bucks per session, I think. That feels like a lot, especially for a new podcast where I'm like, I wouldn't be making money. Although Dave started a new podcast and I think he's doing great. I think he's approaching like 100 episodes already, which is like, I aspire to have the, the brain that Dave has. Dave, I want to do everything. Dave does everything. I'll get there one day. Imagine I was on freaking ADHD medication, though, guys. I would be ruling the freaking world. I'm my own worst enemy. Um, but sometimes I think the ADHD helps. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not on a medication. I'm just freaking surviving life. Um, Katie's pros and mics. Nice. I think Dave ate the Energizer Bunny at some point. Dave's insane. I don't know if Dave's still here. He might have left. But Dave does so much. He literally, like I told him so many times, I'm like, Dave is always like 10 steps ahead of like where I want to be. I'm like, I want to do this. He's like, I'm doing it right now, actually. I'm like, you, you, sir, you inspire me. Oh, shit. What did I just do here? <gasps> oh, I almost, I almost ended this live early. How do I make this bigger? What did I do? Nope, we're just not going to touch anything at the moment. Anyway, uh, only two minutes left, but this has been fun, guys. It was nice to see you. Well, I guess I didn't see you. I saw your screen names. Um, I think next Thursday I could do this again. I, I could do this again, guys. And the Thursday after that, I should try again. We're gonna we're gonna be here again next Thursday. This feels like a good time. Six p.m. Um, is like a good time in terms of like everyone's time zones. I feel like it's like the it's like the best compromise I could do. I know it's a little late for East Coast time, but um, anyway, thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging. Um, like I said, if you want, feel free to subscribe on Instagram under the sub family. I don't know what to call it. It's just different. It's fun. But a lot of you guys are here already, which is awesome. Um, but that's where you're like your daily content of tea, gossip, venting updates whatever um no more standing us up i know i know it got, things got crazy things got crazy during december january february march <laughs> but no um what do they say like you have to do like a habit so many times or do something so many times before it becomes a habit so i'll just put it in the universe uh see you guys next thursday 6 p.m pacific um here on this channel also don't forget to like subscribe comment i think that helps um youtube not 
want to ban me if I ever do mess up. They'll be like, well, it was an accident, but people like her. So let's, we'll just give her a warning. So far, I've been good, though. I've been good. Oh, Jesse. Yay. I'm glad you're coming. It'll be fun. I'll be there. I don't know what time I'm up. I just know it starts at 945. So um, if you're like me, drink some coffee before you come out. <laughs> Okay, guys, it was so fun. This was great. I love you. I, I missed you. I'll, I'll do this again next Thursday. Bye.